Good morning. I'm really happy to have an opportunity to say a few words to you. I am really sorry that I can't be with you. Uh, I'm sorrier still, though, that Rebecca Evans can't be with you in person to deliver this ministerial address to set out our priorities at the start of term. For those of you who don't know, Rebecca can't be with you because sadly her mother passed away recently. So I hope you'll understand and appreciate that she needs time with her family before she returns to work to uh, deliver on the responsibilities we all have across government. And I'm sure they all wish her well and her family well for the future. In the recent election, my party made an ambitious commitment to a comprehensive programme of public service reform. A key element of that was a vision of a high quality and well-designed social care that could not only take the pressure off acute services, but fundamentally help people make changes to their health and well-being and lead healthier, more fulfilling lives. Many of you worked tirelessly alongside the Welsh Government in recent years to develop that vision of a new, more innovative social care framework. Two transformative and groundbreaking pieces of social service legislation now form the bedrock of the transformation that we will see in social care over the next generation. I want to take a moment to thank you for your hard work and helping to improve the legislation that we now have. Our job, together, over the coming years, will be to take that legislation and translate it into a comprehensive reality of sustainable and people-centred social services in our communities. We expect to put people at its heart and work as effectively and efficiently as possible. Our aim must be to deliver upon our shared ambition for the future of social care. As part of that commitment to implement our legislation, I want to signpost the launch of the first phase of the consultation on implementing the Regulation and Inspection of Social Care Act. This is an important first 100 days commitment for this government. The provisions demonstrate our commitment to a secure, safe and well-regulated care service and they signal our support for a well-trained and well-qualified workforce. We have engaged extensively in developing these, and I believe that they're robust. However, you, of course, have to take them forward as employers, commissioners and partners. They need testing by you and your teams, they need to be seen by your networks, and I hope that you will disseminate and share them widely. I hope that you will consider and then respond to them, and in doing so, you'll no doubt wish to be creative, about how you, uh, how you facilitate engagement with your staff, contacts and service users, because our proposal is as good as we can make them over the coming months. So please take time to consider them carefully and do tell us what you think. The new framework extends further than just regulation and inspection. Social Care Wales has been reconfigured and refocused as a successor to the Care Council for Wales and that will deliver a renewed focus on improvement. I'm delighted that we will appoint a new board for Social Care Wales working with the Chair, Arwell Ellis Owen. Its composition will be exceptionally important in setting the tone of the organisation and will pay particular attention to finding the right skill set and members during the appointment process. You'll hear more about the new board over the coming months as we start that process in this autumn. We're relying on you to help spread the word of the new organisation far and wide. We need the best people to take leadership roles within it and that would encourage everyone to think about the skills and experience we need to make that organisation a success. And I want to speak briefly about our new, more thematic style of working. The new cabinet structure will have a significant impact on the children's agenda through the new communities and children portfolio. The cabinet secretary for communities and children, working in close collaboration with the Minister for Social Services and Public Health, will drive a joined up agenda across children's services, including taking forward the key areas of looked after children and children's advocacy. This will include development of the national fostering framework as well as a review of special guardianship and new measures on adoption support. The implementation of the National Adoption Service will also feature highly to support this agenda though. The steering group for improving outcomes for children will be reconstituted and I expect to see significant announcements made on that shortly. Keeping our most vulnerable citizens safe is a shared responsibility and it's vital that we make progress in coming years. A continued focus on safeguarding and an increasing emphasis on working together will be important if we are to fulfil our obligation to the most vulnerable in society. When abuse or neglect of children or adults occurs, there must be effective systems to review and learn from those experiences and to improve practice in the future. And I know that you want those systems to be as effective as possible. That's why shortly we'll publish guidance on adult and child practice reviews to help you in that. We've seen important reforms in Welsh social care. But we sh shouldn't see that as a summit of our ambition. The pressures in our system, we must address that as we move forward. 
The National Living Wage will focus attention on maintaining, on maintaining stable and accessible care provision. But at the same time, our commitment to tackling zero hours contracts and their debilitating effect on the working lives of staff, and on the experience of those receiving care, will throw up new challenges. We should not lose sight of the fact that a huge amount has already been achieved in social care over the last few years. Our aim of sustainable, high quality, professional and responsive social care sector is in sight if we keep working and keep collaborating, keep innovating. We need to go on making social care the attractive and rewarding place to work that it could and should be. As a government, we recognise those challenges and we understand the pressures. In making social care in Wales what we know it can be, we'll work in partnership with you to address them. Thank you for your time and for your commitment to our shared future.